We have just checked in to the beautiful Shinmaikan Ryokan here in the gorgeous town of Kurakawa Onsen. We're here for the next two nights and we are going to explore as many of the hot spring baths as we can over the next 48 hours. It's a beautiful day, it's so sunny and we're going for breakfast. Try not to fall down the stairs. Wow, we thought there was a lot of food and then they brought more. I'll quickly run through what we have. We have rice, miso soup, we have onsen tamago or onsen egg. This is chicken with konyaku. We've got milk pudding, not sure what that is. Tofu, daikon salad, fish with roe. This is like a special raw cured ham. That looks like a white konyaku. This is a dressing for the ham. Melon, green tea, so much. Itadakimasu. It all tastes absolutely amazing. Well, somehow we managed to finish all of that. So now that we're stuffed after breakfast, we're gonna try and head down to the cave bath. It's one of the only cave baths in this area. Probably won't be able to take the big camera. If there's nobody there, we will try and get some photos or video on the phone. I doubt we're gonna be able to because it is a very popular bath, but we're gonna go enjoy it. And we will take you into one of the other onsens later on today. So this is the cave bath. At the moment, I'm the only one here. I am going to enjoy this so much. There's two ways to get into the bath. There's the main bath there. There's also another little side passage down that way. Let's go into the water. There's another little separate cave down that way. It's only small. And then round here. This leads around to that second entrance. The temperature of the water is absolutely perfect. There's a steam from the room. I'm completely alone. This is like the perfect bath, perfect onsen experience. I am so happy right now. So we're now on the hunt for our first onsen. It is the most beautiful day. There is not a tourist here yet. Hopefully our first, well, our second bath of the day can be nice and quiet. So we've just come to the information centre in Kurokawa Onsen to get our onsen pass. And if you turn it over, there is the cutest cat on the floor, by the way, look at him. Oh, he's so cute. You get three onsen for 1500 yen, or you can get two onsen and a snack. And I think the snacks include like dango or a drink or ice cream and a drink. But we're going to do the three on scent because we can get snacks at any time. Our first proper one of the day on our pass is going to be Misato, which is an SP bath, which means sulfur. And we love the sulfur ones because they smell like onsen, like real egg sulfur onsen. This one's a nice milky one and it looks like we have a three minute walk to it. Okay, so change of plan. The onsen that we wanted to go to doesn't open until 1pm. So we're going to head to Ryokan Ichinoi, which opens in 10 minutes. So that's gonna be the first, second bath of the day. This place is gorgeous. It's so peaceful. There is not a breath of wind. The sun is out. I think we might be on our own here. And I can smell the sulfur. It smells really eggy, but I associate that with really good uh, onsen now. So I'm really, really excited for this one. So we have struck super lucky again. We've got the onsen to ourselves. This almost never happens in Japan and we've had both onsen this morning to ourselves. It's a good day. The water is a beautiful, beautiful temperature. And look at this view. So, so nice. We're gonna try something called a Kurakawa Spa Dora Dora Burger. We've got three flavors, two that the lady recommended and one that I really wanted. This is the Jersey milk, the soybean powdered one, and a coffee one. I'm just gonna try the coffee one. I'm gonna try the special soybean powder one, which I think the shop is the only one that sells. Let's try it. They were making the little pancake bits in store fresh. It smells so fresh. 
and the inside bit's like a squishy mochi and I think it's filled with that powdered soybean powder. Let's give it a go. Itadakimasu! Mmm! Mmm! I think this one's the coffee. I'm gonna try the other one. I take that back. This one is the kinako one, the soybean one. It tastes a bit like coffee, it's really weird. It's nice, it's just definitely like a coffee taste. Maybe it's subliminal in my mind. It's super, super nice, it's really squishy. And I think it's got a layer of red bean paste at the bottom, like a cream inside, a mochi, and these beautiful pancakes on top. I'm gonna give this like a nine out of 10. This one is definitely, definitely coffee. It's really creamy. That's so good. Look at the coffee inside. What is it? 9.5. That's so good. <laughs> This is something super, super exciting. We have been given access to the private bath for 40 minutes. This is in the oh, the real cam we're staying in. Wait till you see this. Look at this bath. It's all ours for the next 40 minutes. So traditionally in a onsen in Japan, you take all your clothes off, uh, wash yourself, and then get in the bath just to soak and relax and benefit from all the water's natural qualities. There's normally a little room of baskets like this where you take off your clothes before going to the shower. We're not gonna show you that. So we're here in the private onsen. It's quite a privilege. Normally you don't get to film inside of onsen. I'm obviously wearing a towel for modesty's sake. Obviously you don't ever put a towel in an onsen, especially a public one. It's supposed to be wet and cold and put on top of your head. This place is amazing. The water's perfect temperature. There's a shower here with body wash, conditioner, shampoo. And the little spout over there is where the onsen water is directly coming into this bath. So that is the hottest part of the bath and further away from it is obviously cooler. Yeah, we're gonna enjoy this for the next 40 minutes. So we are just about to go downstairs for our first ever kaiseki dinner. I have been wanting to try one of these things for years, since the first time we came to Japan. And today, now that we're staying in this ryokan, we actually get to go downstairs wearing our yukata and try our first ever kaiseki dinner. So excited. Also, it is so hard to walk downstairs in these things. So even before we arrived downstairs, our food was already laid out for us. We've got a really nice selection. This is like the first course. It's a kaiseki, so it's over many, many different courses. We just ordered a big cup of sake, local sake. We've got a little fish just by the fire, which is ready to eat. And we've also got a little cup of plum wine, which is kampai. So I'm gonna try a bite of the food first. It's super fancy. It's the fanciest place I've Ooh. ever been in my life. Wow, even the chopsticks are super fancy. We have fried mushroom. Mm. Eggplant. Mm. It's like smoky. That's really good. So bamboo with a little bit of the sauce. That's so good. Now this is the big one because I'm really nervous. I've never eaten like raw magaro before. So this is brave for me. Mackerel. mackerel. Okay, so it's raw mackerel. I've never had raw mackerel before, so I am being really brave here. Mm. It tastes literally like the sea. It's so, so nice. Really fresh, no like fishy taste at all. The rice is really sweet, gorgeous. <laughs> That's so good. 
for a fish meat, it's really sweet. It's smoky because it's been cooked over the charcoal. That is so good. Mm. So the next course is steamed egg. It looks incredible. It looks almost like a creme brulee. It smells like soy, dashi, smoked wood. Let's give it a taste. That is divine. Okay, so I've never had sashimi before. I'm not sure how. So here it goes, first try. That is amazing. It's so soft. I had it with a little bit of the wasabi and I dipped it in the soy sauce and it is delicious. 10 out of 10, I am definitely eating sashimi again. So this is sweet potato and miso. It's got like cheese on top as well. He said the whole thing can be eaten. Give this a go. <laughs> I've never tasted anything like that in my life. It is creamy. It is, it's almost, it's not quite as sweet as a custard, but it's quite similar to a custard. It's cheesy. I think this is my favorite thing so far. So this is five grain rice manju. <laughs> Mmm, it's really, really savoury. It's really good. So this is an exciting course. This is A5 Wagyu beef. This is only my second time in my life having A5. So this is my first time trying A5 Wagyu beef. I'm gonna dip it in the sauce. Mmm, that is super, super soft. Really buttery. Very mild flavour, but really, really nice. Mm, it's like butter. So this is the main course, I think, which is soba and pickled daikon, eggplant and rice. Soba is literally, well, it was my favorite thing, but I think sashimi might be now. Mm. Also, we are now on our second big cup of sake. Probably won't be the last of the night either. We are so full now. We're just about to come on to the last course, which is dessert. He's bringing it in five minutes. He's also just brought us a lovely cup of tea. I think this is genmaicha. It's absolutely delicious. The service here has been impeccable. The two waiters that we have are both from Myanmar and they are such lovely people and they could not do enough for us. What a, what a very, very special night this has been. We're really, really sorry, but we completely forgot to film dessert. Andrew's completely finished his. That'll be the second cup of sake for us. And it's adzuki beans, gorgeous, like really creamy, like Jersey milk, vanilla ice cream, and one of the local tangerines. Really nice. They've come and set out our futons for us. Uh, but before we jump in bed, I'm gonna quickly run outside and show you the lights because this town at the moment, with it being winter, has got lights above the river. So we're gonna go and check those out. Well, I managed to get some absolutely stunning photographs and I'm gonna go head back now because it's really cold and I'm gonna go to bed. Night.